What's going on guys, CKD123 back in the video, and uh, I'm a little bit under the weather, right? Uh, I believe I have some sort of food poisoning or something messed up with my stomach. So uh, please forgive me if I sound a little bit, you know, off, no, and off uh, my energy uh, in this video. But we are going to be going over the EA E3 2016 conference. Well, not really E3, you know, not really E3, but uh, they have their own conference called EA Play. And we're going to go over what uh, interesting things I saw and what, uh, you know, just breaking it down for you guys. So right off the bat, they described this conference as being something very different, right? Something that is very honest, you know what I'm saying? They even called out the content creators in the crowd, you know, saying that, listen, like, whatever you don't like, make videos about it. Whatever you do like, let the people know, you know what I'm saying? Like, this was, you know, very uh, content creator focused. They start off the conference by debuting Titanfall 2 and its gameplay trailer. And this uh, trailer highlighted sliding new abilities for the mech and also your own character. And on top of that, they uh, basically the grappling hook was confirmed, you know, as the leak said a couple weeks ago. And uh, you can, in fact, grapple hook other players in midair and uh, kill them that way. So that was that was pretty dope to see in the gameplay chart. Along with that, they announced six new titans customization and a quote deep level progression that you know they will probably go into uh closer to launch and they also announced that Titanfall 2 will have a offline story mode uh to the game so you could definitely you know look out for that and it looks pretty cool i mean like it 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 had a vibe where it was like your mech is tied to you right and will you know protect you no matter what so it was that type of vibe going on and uh, the game will be dropping on october 28 2016 which i have an issue about that date but we will jump to that when we uh go to battlefield one news next up they announced madden 17 which is a bunch of stuff that i really don't care about i don't play sports games but uh they seem to have a new focus for competitive madden and they brought out some uh pro people in the madden community so you know that was pretty dope but honestly i don't care about madden uh so i mean that, <laughs> that's that <laughs> next up they went on to mass effect andromeda and uh, i never played the mass effect game i know that's something that is you know basically like criminal to say in the gaming community but i actually never played mass effect and this seems like a game that i would be very interested in uh they uh basically said that the story is that you are going outside of the galaxy and helping humanity find a new home right and so that's basically what it is you're going into uh uncharted territories and you know trying to find a new home for humanity and they announced that it'll be running on the frostbite engine off of dice so you know that is you know a pretty cool thing the uh engine of frostbite is very dope it's very you know clean and polished and you know gives good graphics to games so you know that's a good thing to see and uh, the game looks very massive and uh, very polished and very good at least from what we've seen here you know obviously you know that may be subject to change but uh they also announced that there will be new stuff to come in fall for the game so definitely look out for that info uh come this fall and they went on to announce a play to give thing right so this is called uh play to give and it's where there will be in-game challenges across all ea games this week of e3 2016 and uh it will be uh challenges where if that game gets that challenge and they beat it uh there will be money given to a exorbitant amount of charity so you know that was something cool that you know they announced, I mean, you know, they're trying to give back uh, through the gaming community. So, you know, that was not, I mean, uh, you know, that was a really dope thing to announce. You know, nothing really insane, you know, based off of gaming-wise. But, you know, it was, I mean, you know, you can't knock charity. I mean, you know. They now went on to another sports game that, again, you guys know I don't play sports games. That's not my thing. I don't really care about it. But it was FIFA 2017. And they announced that the game will be running off of the frostbite engine which is something that i'm not sure if the past games uh had but you know just to say just because frostbite will be on fifa 2017 and uh they actually showed this new thing called the journey and it follows a main character and it's almost like it's it, it's like a full-on story mode and like when me that is that you are going through the trials and tribulations and the hardship of of growing into being a pro player in the game of soccer or football whatever you know side of the coin you flip but um it looks it looks very appealing it looks very different it's something that you know i've never seen in a uh sports game 
where they actually follow the story of one individual soccer player but uh, that is something that you'll be able to play in FIFA 2017 and it's called The Journey and uh, they went on to uh, unveil new mechanics and features of the game that are pretty you know stock and very uh, expected you know with these sports games just an update you know roster update and all this other stuff so uh, yeah that was FIFA 2017 at the EA Play event. And next up, they announced EA Originals. And this is basically backing and support for indie devs, right? You know, through funding, through advertising, through whatever a indie dev needs, right? To launch a new game, a new IP. So uh, this is basically them, you know, uh, showing support for the young and uh, up-and-coming gaming developers out in the community. And they also uh, unveiled a new uh, game called Fee, F-E. And uh, it's a new game that tells the bond between human and nature, right? And it will be backed by the EA Originals program. And it looks like a third-person platformer that's a 3D world. So, I mean, like, it's not anything groundbreaking, but it does look kind of enticing. And it's kind of the same thing that they did last year with, uh, what's that game? Um, Yarny. Yarny, when they uh, debuted that and uh, said that they will be, you know, helping out this game. Uh, it's in the same vein that they're doing this year with EA Originals. And my most anticipated segment, which did not turn out how I wanted to, was the Star Wars news, okay? And they basically unveiled that Battlefront 2 will be launching in 2017, probably will be launching alongside uh, Episode 8 of Star Wars, so, you know, we'll probably expect that, and uh, maybe some of the uh, current characters in Star Wars, you know, like Rey, Finn, etc., all those good characters that were uh, unveiled in The Force Awakens will probably be in this Battlefront 2 game, and they announced on Visceral's game, it will be coming out in 2018, and there will be brand new characters for us to explore. And uh, with the Respawn game that's coming out with Star Wars, they uh, said basically that they will be exploring a new era of Star Wars that we have not seen before. You know, in any of the movies, comics, whatever. Like, this is a brand new era that has not been explored by the Star Wars universe, which is pretty cool. Which is, you know, something that I can, you know, definitely get excited for. And basically everyone that loves Star Wars can be excited for it because this is brand new content. It's brand new stuff. You know, we've... We've explored the original movies, you know, to the umpteen time, you know what I'm saying? Like, it'll be cool to see some new stuff uh, in the Star Wars universe. And uh, it was just a video reel of, you know, them working on the games and really, you know, bringing the games to life and really, you know, uh, explaining their love for Star Wars, you know, and how, uh, you know, excited they are to work on a Star Wars game. So that's basically what all the uh, Star Wars news was in uh, this one. I was expecting for them to actually unveil... Uh, you know, the date of the next pack for Battlefront, but they never did. So I guess, you know, that is coming probably sometime this week, maybe, you know, in private. But uh, yeah, that was Star Wars at EA Play. And finally, the last game to be unveiled at EA Play this year was Battlefield 1. And the trailer that they showed for this game, oh my gosh. It looks super raw. It looks super real. It, it looks intense. Like, it looks crazy, man, this game. I wasn't really sold on this game. When the first uh, things I saw about this game, you know, I was a little bit skeptical, but this definitely has me enticed and definitely has me interested in Battlefield 1. And uh, the funniest thing about this whole conference was when they showed people that were quote-unquote interested in Battlefield 1, uh, they showed Zac Efron and Jamie Foxx, which they basically, literally on their face, had no interest in this game at all. Like, they, I just thought it was a total joke how they just put on these, you know, AAA, high-class people in the entertainment industry and they just you know throw them on these games and act like you know they care like it's just i just find that you know super funny like why don't they bring people from the gaming community like bring on syndicate bring on white boy bring on you know anybody that's in the gaming community that's big right the people that know you know that's that's one of our people in the gaming community not some random you know actor or some random you know person in entertainment like they don't have an attachment to gaming as much as we do right so i mean i just thought that that was funny uh they announced that there will be dynamic weather to the game and the date has me tripping up right listen this game is dropping october 21st 2016 so you're telling me that ea is going to launch first person shooters back to back in under a week like we have Battlefield 1 on October 21st, and then we have Titanfall 2 on October 28th. Like, I don't understand why why they would do that to their own games, right? Like, that's basically kind of splitting up, you know, the people that want to buy both these games, because the common consumer would not, you know, buy both these games at the same time, you know, just 
you know, generally speaking. So why would they even put these games out so close to each other? That just doesn't make any sense to me. That's just kind of weird. I just feel like, you know, they're almost like cannibalizing, you know, their own games, which is kind of weird to me. But the biggest thing that, you know, that we can all uh, get hyped for is that they're uh, having an open beta later this summer for Battlefield 1. So we will get to play Battlefield 1 and an open beta later this summer. So get hyped for that. There will, of course, be gameplay on this channel. Uh, of course, you know, Battlefield 1 beta. And uh, that's all there was about the EA Play conference. Uh, I mean, it was all right. Like, it was it was meh. I mean, there was stuff that I was hyped for, and then there was stuff that I didn't care for, you know. And that's basically what it is with EA with me, you know, basically. Because I don't care about sports games. So, you know, I mean, that's just my personal opinion. It was a meh conference. I mean, you know. So that's just, that was just my uh, initial impressions on EA Play. Let me know what you guys thought about the conference in, in the comments below are you guys excited for mass Effect, timefall 2 battlefield 1 the new star wars games do you think two chains was at the battlefield event let me know down in the comments below and while you're down there make sure to hit the like button if you guys enjoy the content share it with your friends and uh subscribe if you want some more breakdowns i will be breaking down all of the conferences for this e3 2016 so uh definitely check back to the channel for my thoughts and opinions on these conferences and uh i mean pss, that's all i gotta say so uh as always I got you.